Dear friends, good morning on Monday the 30th of November. Advent Sunday by Christina Rossetti. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out with lighted lamps and garlands round about to meet him in a rapture with a shout. It may be at the midnight, black as pitch. Earth shall cast up her poor, cast up her rich. It may be at the crowing of the cock. Earth shall upheave her depth uproot her rock. For lo, the bridegroom fetcheth home the bride. His hands are hands she knows, she knows his side. Like pure Rebecca at the appointed place, unveiled, she unveils her face to meet his face. Like great Queen Esther in her triumphing, she triumphs in the presence of her king. His eyes are as a dove's, and she's dove-eyed. He knows his lovely mirror, sister, bride. He speaks with dove voice of exceeding love, and she with love voice of an answering dove. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go we out with lamps ablaze and garlands round about to meet him in a rapture with a shout. I came across this lovely Advent poem last week, and I was so taken with it that I thought I'd share it with you at the beginning of Advent. Advent is traditionally a time when we remember and prepare for Jesus' second coming. And this is the theme that Rossetti focuses on with a variety of wonderful biblical allusions. You might like to look them up. The poem is bracketed by the depiction of Jesus as the bridegroom. And we are urged to be like the wise virgins with lighted lamps and garlands round about so that we are ready to meet him in a rapture with a shout. It may be at midnight reminds us that Jesus could return at any moment, and when he does, the whole earth will stand in judgment before him, poor and rich alike. It may be at the crowing of the cock echoes Jesus' fateful words to Peter that he will betray him, as a warning to us to remain faithful while we wait. But after these pointers to the sudden arrival of the bridegroom, Rossetti reminds us that Jesus is coming to take his bride, the church, us, home to be with him forever. We have nothing to fear from his coming, for we recognise, like Thomas, that the wounds in his hands and his side, which he still bears, were for us. And so, like Rebecca greeting Isaac, we can willingly unveil ourselves to our husband, glory in our royal status like Queen Esther, give ourselves to him like the dove-eyed beloved in the Song of Songs, hear his words of love spoken over us, and respond with our own words of love for him. So we look forward with eager expectation, to meet him in a rapture with a shout. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. God bless you today.